Greetings, the Astro 30 here yet again and welcome back to AEL. Now if you're new to this channel please consider going down below and liking and subscribing if you haven't done so already. Cheers. See if I can actually like crack it open. Um, I mean it's pretty well much junk anyway. So I might take this outside and hit it with a hammer. Alright so there's the transistor busted open. Just a couple of good whacks with a hammer broke off the silicon. Um, This burnt section in here is actually the die of the transistor. Uh, there's supposed to be bonding wire going, one going this way, off to the uh, emitter leg, that's the collector, and there should be a bond wire coming off here to the base connection. But this little blob, excluding all these burnt bits around the outside, this little blob in here which looks awfully like a surface mount device that's the die itself that is exceedingly small um, I'm no expert but I would expect for a power transistor that's supposed to be capable of 25 amps collected to a emitter according to the data sheet that, that die would be at least twice the size um, but yeah that's that's just all of the die itself, there's nothing there, it's just a tiny little blob. I mean, there's bits falling off. Yeah, so that's what's inside this little transistor, which is what blew up. And you can see they've used copper here, uh, that's basically for the, the heat transfer. You can use copper as a heat sink, and it's just it's tinned on the other side. Um, yeah, that die looks to me like it's way too small. Uh, it may handle the voltage, but it definitely will not handle the current. So, there you go. That's inside a fake transistor. I don't have the inside photo diagram of what a genuine transistor of this one, TRP36C, should look like, but I can I can hazard a guess and guarantee that this die should be at least twice the size. That looks like a small signal transistor die than it does a power transistor die to me. And I've not really seen inside fake transistors before, or seen inside real transistors, because there's no point in taking one apart. But, um, yeah. That would be what the issue was with that. That's all burnt crap. So that, that die looks way too small. I don't know, leave your thoughts in the comments below. Should it be bigger? I reckon it should. And just for size comparison, even though half of it's now missing because it's on the other piece of silicon that broke off, this is inside one of the TIP uh, 35 Cs. And that is the whole entire die, even though it's on an angle. Probably is for making the bonding wire connections easier. I mean, no one's going to see it, it doesn't have to be straight. But you can see that this is almost three times, three times the size of this. Three times different. Little tiny little die there. And maybe a die that's four times, times the size. So this transistor probably was genuine. I mean, it's, it's fucked now because I've opened it up. I don't know which one of them was actually shorted, but it doesn't really matter. We can see that the die, the die in here is a lot bigger than that. So yeah, complimentary, they are not. This one's fake, and this one would be the genuine. Hmm, interesting, isn't it?